Hi there, everybody. This is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care. In this video, my special guest is going to be sharing her hand arthritis treatments using technology to decrease stiffness. So I have with me Hannah Pugh, who is an occupational therapist who started her career working mostly in outpatient, but then she realized that a lot of the patients weren't really engaged in therapy very much and maybe weren't even able to get to therapy. So then she decided to transition into working for Reactive, which Reactive is a digital health startup that provides occupational therapy through an app on your phone, and it connects you to an OT like Hannah. And um, the app uses computer vision and gaming that make exercises fun. And Hannah has seen a huge benefit of helping provide education and resources to people with chronic conditions like arthritis, like hand arthritis, finger arthritis. Um, and, and this has helped people that would otherwise have not gotten any kind of treatment at all. So Hannah, I want to thank you for being here with us and sharing your hand arthritis tips. And I'm really excited to hear how you use technology to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for that introduction, Michelle. So I have three tips I want to share today for hand arthritis and to reduce stiffness. So just a brief intro into arthritis. Um, if you break down the word real quick, you know, you have arth and itis and arthritis comes from the Latin root meaning uh, joint and then itis inflammation of yeah. that joint. So if we think about our hand, our hand is compact and concentrated with so many small joints, you know, that affect all the digits and mostly the thumb and then all those small little joints in the fingers. So there's so many different ways that you can get stiffness or get arthritis just in those joints. So my first tip is to consult with an OT or an occupational therapist from the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. And one of the greatest benefits of that is that you're able to use the context of your own environment to have the OT like show you exactly what to do or how to protect your joints or how to, you know, anatomically correct to use your joints. So if you're thinking about it and we're on a video call, you could just quickly pull up a coffee mug and show me like, hey, Hannah, I'm having trouble when I'm drinking out of my coffee mug and it's it really hurts my thumb when I'm holding it like this. And then in real time, we're kind of just able to say like, or am I able to give advice and say, you know, maybe just keep your hands all facing the or fingers all facing the same direction or maybe you have to use two hands to kind yeah. of reduce some of that strain through that through those joints um then also if you're having trouble like cooking we can just walk straight into the kitchen bring your phone mm -hmm. bring your computer whatever you're on and show me hey I, it you know it's, it's really hard for me to cut vegetables but i'm using this knife or whatever and i'm able to say like okay, why don't we try this one or use a different grip or use a different handle. And um, that's something like a huge benefit being in your own home. We're able to kind of like show your exact placement yes. um, without having to worry about like going into the clinic and using whatever we have on hand in the clinic. So that's right. like, that's my first tip is, you know, consult just from the comfort of your own home. Yeah. And consult through their phone. They can yeah. consult through computer, right? right. They really yeah. any kind of device and mm -hmm. they pretty much just take you with them in their mm -hmm. home. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Show me, show me all the rooms. You can just do whatever is giving you trouble. You can see right then and there, you know, definitely better than being in a clinic where you have to kind of like talk them through what maybe your environment looks like. I mean, it's just better to actually see it and see you in yeah. that same environment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you're playing like mental gymnastics, trying to like configure how their house is or right. what exactly <laughs> their setup is. Yep, exactly. exactly. <laughs> then without able to uh, without being able to see it, you know? Yeah, definitely. And it's individualized. So definitely seeing the therapist so that in your own home, but also it's individualized and it's one-on-one -on -one too. It's mm -hmm. private in the privacy of your own home too. All right. So my second tip is to engage in multi-directional movement of your hand. So multi-directional movement sounds just like it means, you know, moving your fingers and moving those joints and all those different movements, all those different directions. Um, a lot of times, People think with arthritis, they're like, oh, my hand's stiff, my hand's sore, I need to just like not move it. Right. But in reality, we need to move it. We need yeah. to keep those, that's how we keep those joints lubricated. That's how we reduce some of that stiffness. So one of the coolest things about virtual care and about reactive in general is that we have in the app, we have these games that are built that you can play these games that actively engage your hand in these multi-directional movements. But it's like, again, in that fun and, um, 
engaging way. So you're not really thinking about doing the exercises. You're not sitting there thinking like, okay, 10 times I have to open and close my hands or 20 times I'm going to spread my fingers apart or bring my thumb out. You know, it's like way more engaging. So we actually have a video that you can uh, yes, I will that. pull that up. So they actually know what do you mean by multi-directional yeah. movement? <laughs> All right. So you can see in this game, this game is called bubble shooter and uh, you can see how he's like making a fist, opening it. And then he also does this rotation. So that's moving those fingers, opening and closing um, and in that forearm rotation. So that's just one of the games that is in the app that kind of engages your hand in those different movements, those different planes of motion. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, it's fun. You complete the game. Um, and then, so, and then to get the other, you would play some other games that we have in there, which are based off of like candy crush games. Yeah. You can see the candy match, um, which would get it into and other I love the fingers. I love the finger. Yeah, the, the, countdown. The, the countdown there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's so fun. I can see how, you know, you when you do that, it's not like you're doing mm -hmm. exercises, the static type of like, you know, one, two, three, four, yeah. five, like you're moving without even thinking about it because you're directing mm -hmm. your, your mind to an actual task. You just happen to be moving your hand, right? Yeah. Do yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's a, my second tip is moving your hand in those uh, multi-directional uh, movements. And then my third tip is learning what modalities work for you. So most people with arth osteoarthritis in particular find that heat works really well for them. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. Um, and we can kind of talk through that, like on that virtual call that I mentioned on my first tip, ways that I like to have people do it is putting their hand in like a warm water bath. Mm -hmm. That could be, you know, like filling the sink with warm water, filling the tub, and then kind of doing those multi-directional movements, kind of tying all these tips together, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like sque gently squeezing a sponge or a washcloth. But then you can also pair that with those activities or with those um, tasks that are giving you trouble uh, and doing it before, you know, like maybe before work or before you have to do a lot of exercises throughout the day, or even as a midday break, you know, like you're working a lot from home and you need to uh, kind of pair that modality with that exercise. So maybe it's pairing that heat before you're doing that, that game or that multi-directional movement, yeah. um, pairing that together, but kind of work, learning to work what works best for you. Right. Right. Definitely. Oh, I love those. So just to recap, we've got one is consult with an occupational therapist, right? In the comfort of your home. And that's through using a phone, computer, app. Number mm -hmm. two is engaging in the multi-directional movement. And that's using the reactive app, right? And that's through fun games, right? You're getting motion going. You're reducing that stiffness, that hand stiffness mm -hmm. by doing something fun and not even really thinking about the exercises. And number three is learning what modalities work for you. So when we talk about modalities, we're talking about things that make you feel better before your movements, right? Like maybe that's heat or that's applying a moist hot pack or uh, doing exercises in water, or maybe it's ice for some people, just trying different modalities so that then that can help in the reduction of the stiffness, right? But then you incorporate everything together and you've got a great program that's tailored to that person and their individual needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That was a great recap. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, great. Well, so if viewers that are watching this are thinking, well, that sounds good. I, I would really much rather do that app than do these exercises like this. So how can they connect with you? How can they learn more about this? So there's actually a couple of different ways. So the app is live on the Google Play Store for Android users or on the App Store for um, iPhone users. Right. And you can just search Reactive, R-E-A-C-T-I-V in either one of those app stores um, and download the app. And then it will directly take you to the onboarding process. And then you're kind of able to get set up that way. Or if you want to learn more, you can visit the website, which is reactiverehab.com. Or the last option is you can email me at Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H, at reactiverehab.com. Great. So lots of opportunities to, yeah. to get in touch with you. Wonderful. I will also put links in the comments below of how you can contact Hannah too. So thank you so much for being here, Hannah. Those 
tips are wonderful and very unique too. I, I love seeing development. I love seeing how technology can help to reduce their, their stiffness, their hand stiffness. So yeah. thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me and excited about uh, helping some people. So you guys reach out to Hannah. If you found this video helpful, do please give it a like too. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and share this video with some friends and family members too, that are dealing with some hand stiffness because Hey, you guys could all be sitting around the table working on some, you know, working on the reactive app and doing all your hand exercises and games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love that. A family party. with. That's reactive. right. That's yeah. right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.